my God, it's Christmas! Christmas! Phantom 4 Pro! And a spark? Oh my God, Mom! You're special! Did you just get a drone for Christmas? Are you super excited and giddy about your new gift? Well, if you're not careful, your happiness is gonna come crashing to the ground right before your eyes. That's why in this video, we're gonna teach you everything you need to know before you fly and how not to crash. You ready? Let's do this. So you just got the gift of a lifetime. You just got the gift you've been waiting for since you were a little boy or girl or one of the two. Anyway, the whole idea here is that there's some things that you should know, whether you're flying for fun or whether you're flying for hobby. And there's a whole bunch of hubbub that you need to know. And if we don't tell you, the government is going to come down here and kick our ass. So a couple things. Number one, you can't fly over 400 feet. You got to keep the drone in visual line of sight and it's got to be registered, which yes, that is a new rule as of December 12th, 2017. So you got to register that thing on FAA.gov forward slash UAS. But also you need to know a little bit about where you can fly your drone because in all honesty, there's something called airspace. I know it's crazy, but you're gonna fly in this airspace and you need to know where you can fly and where you can't fly. So make sure to check out app.skyward.io, create a super, super fast account, go in there and you'll actually be able to see if you're a recreational user or a commercial user where you can fly and where you can't fly. But also I'm gonna teach you some rules, some tips and some tricks about flying that will hopefully keep you from crashing into the ground along with your confidence, all right? So, before you take your drone out, there are two things you gotta do to it. Number one, you've gotta do an IMU calibration. This is really important, because if your drone thinks it's like this all the time, it's gonna run itself into the ground. So, step one, IMU calibration. Step number two, you've gotta do a compass calibration, but you don't wanna do it in, in an area with tall buildings or metal around or on a parking structure or anything with steel or magnetic material around it. Why? Because you'll crash. Now, another thing that you should do before you go out and fly is just understand the basic controls and movements of the sticks. You wanna know the difference between roll, pitch, meaning forward and backward movement, yaw, which is rotation, and elevation, okay? Also, really, really important to understand the thumbs up rule because thumbs up will keep you up, buttercup. What do I mean about that? I mean every time you feel like you're gonna hit something, you thumbs up on that left stick. Why? Because you can't hit anything if you fly over it. It's pretty simple, huh? Yeah, tip of the day. Next thing you need to do, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is charge that remote controller and also charge your batteries. Now, in the cold weather, your batteries don't last as long, so it's really important that you make sure they're fully charged and you keep them warm until you go outside and fly. That means don't leave your drone in your case in the garage all night long to get cold because, because, ladies and gentlemen, a cold battery means you'll be flying for about 50% of the time. All right, really important. Don't charge your batteries overnight. Don't charge your batteries while you're sleeping because you could wake up to a fiery inferno of death while your house burns to the ground around you. Yes, it's happened before. No, I'm not kidding. So don't do that. Anyway, all right. You're also gonna wanna make sure your remote is charged. Why? Because if your remote loses its signal for whatever reason, it's gonna come back and fly home. Now, if you weren't smart enough to set your return to home altitude, chances are your drone is gonna run into a house or a tree or your Aunt Mary. Maybe you wanted that, I don't know. But you should really set your return to home altitude. Also, there's something you should know. In flying in cold weather, the battery percentage is not really accurate at all. You've gotta go into your settings, go click the battery, go to advanced settings, and then show voltage on main screen. You're gonna click that. Then it's gonna show you the voltage on main screen, and you want to make sure that you're flying home when it says around 3.60 volts. It's really important, and that's gonna be able to tell you how much life you have in the battery, whether it's hot outside or whether it's cold outside, all right? So those are some pretty good tips. Now let's move on to flying. Now, when you're about to take off, 
Couple things, don't fly near people. You can't fly over people either. And if an FAA agent comes walking over your shoulder and it sounds like he's like, you're flying too close to people. It looks like the trajectory of your vehicle could hurt somebody. Chances are it could. So don't fly near stuff. That's step number one. That's how most people crash. Step number two, most people don't do a compass calibration and they lose their drone that way. It flies back to China. Seriously. Okay, next thing, you need to check the weather. Why? Because if it's too windy, you're gonna lose the drone. Or you're gonna look like a total idiot because you don't know how to fly the thing in the wind and you're gonna lose it and crash in front of your friends. You don't want that, okay? So, next up, you gotta make sure that you're taking off into the wind. You gotta make sure that you and the drone have the same orientation. That means if I'm facing this way, I'm taking off into the wind. And also the drone is taking off into the wind. This is really important. Why? Because if the drone starts off inverted, the controls are inverted. And even when you are flying, if the camera's pointing the same direction that you're facing, the controls are going to stay the same. But as soon as that camera turns around and it's facing you, the controls are inverted. I've seen a really famous producer actually take off a drone and hit someone in the leg because they didn't listen to me right when I said, you probably shouldn't take off flying inverted. Anyway, next thing you should do is when you first fly, fly up and away, okay? Really, really important that you first take off, fly up and away. Um, if you check out our course at Drone U called Flight Over Water, there's actually a battery test that you can do if you're flying over water, so just something that you should know. Again, the cold really affects your battery, so be aware of that. Now, when you are flying, okay, I just wanna say that take your time in flying. Fly up really high, get used to the controls that way, fly line of sight, fly FPV. FPV means you're looking at the screen and you're controlling it. It's really a good way to do stuff. Um, make sure you have a visual observer, that way uh, you can't you know, run into a house or run into something. You always wanna know exactly where the drone is. That's why I said start up high, fly like 100 feet, okay? Really important. Now, when you're coming into land, it's really, really important that again, the drone and you are facing the same direction, step one. Step two, you are landing with the drone facing into the wind. Why is that? If the drone gets pushed towards you for whatever reason, all you have to do is pitch forward with that right stick and move the drone away from you, okay? That's also really important. And then also, I told you to land into the wind. I would recommend landing in attitude mode. You're gonna have to turn on multiple flight modes if you're flying DJI to get attitude mode. But think of it like this, attitude mode is actually a lot more fun to fly in. And if you learn to fly in attitude mode, you're actually gonna be a much better pilot. It's really simple. Think of a hockey puck on an ice rink. If I push the hockey puck down on the ice rink, even though I'm not having any continual forcing touch on it, it's still moving in the direction that I told it to move in. So if I say go straight, it's just gonna keep going straight. Even if I let off the controls, right? Same thing with the drone. If I tell it to go straight in attitude mode and let off the stick, it's gonna keep going straight. It's not gonna stop. In GPS mode, that's the original flight mode. That's what the drone essentially starts up in. When you let off the sticks, it just hovers in space. Now. The only flight movement you shouldn't do. Do you know it? I'm hearing Jeopardy music right now. Well, that's straight down. You never wanna fly straight down. Whenever you're coming into land, you wanna come in at a essentially, kinda of think of it like rise over run, like stair stepper. You kinda of wanna come in at an angle, okay? Really, really important. Now, if you wanna learn some drills, some practice exercises that'll help you fly in attitude mode, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out the Don't Crash course in thedroneu.com. DroneU is a drone school, except it's a little bit different. Think of it like Amazon Prime. You get all the classes for one low monthly price. That way, if you wanna become a really cool pilot and show off to your friends, or you wanna turn your passion into profit and maybe make some money, escape the nine to five, that stupid cubicle that you sit in every day. If you wanna escape that life, that place can teach you how to do exactly that. We also have great classes with drills and exercises to teach you the intricacies of advanced flight movement, get buttery smooth footage, and do some really cool cinematic movements as well. Woo! Also, if you wanna learn aerial photography, got an award-winning photographer teaching that class. And in addition to that, we also have an aerial videography and a photogrammetry class if you wanna learn how to create maps and models with drones. So anyway, this is a little Christmas gift from us. Hope all this information helps you guys who are just getting started or you gave someone a drone for Christmas. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Kwanzaa, and I'm done for the rest of the year. Oh my God.